What's going on guys? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video. Today's topic, premium platinum. And should you invest? So yeah, let's get to it. Okay guys, so you can see here, I've got my recently acquired Platinum Eagle coin in front of me. Uh, this is a coin I recently got, picked it up, love it, love everything about it. Um, just love the coin overall. Now this is my, this is, uh, my first numismatic coin. It does have 9995 Platinum in it. It's one ounce, so it is um, in the stack as regards to precious metals, but it does have a bit of a premium. Um, at the spot when I bought this, it was probably close to about $400 premium, which is pretty high. At Platinum, you should be around 100 150 premium. This was pretty high premium. Now, the spot was low, so... Um, this was not as bad a deal as you might think. But, again, this is a collect collectible piece of uh, Platinum. This is something that collectors really look for more than stackers. So, yeah, this is my new first new numismatic uh, Platinum piece. So the question for today is um, premium Platinum and should you, like, invest or buy? And my take on that is along with any of the precious metals, gold, silver, any of them, is I enjoy picking up an overpriced piece every now and then that's like a collectible piece. Um, but you might be different. You might be just trying to stack as much weight as possible, and that's cool. In my opinion, um, these are a decent investment to make because... Uh, unless just the world goes to crap, um, there will always be like a collector's market for pieces like this. You'll always find someone who will pay you more for a piece like this. At the end of the day, it's one ounce platinum, so it's not going to go really below spot. Um, but in a normal world, you'll always find someone most likely to pay premium on a piece like this so that you can kind of recoup some of that money you spent paying overpriced for overpriced platinum. And this is the same with any of the precious metals, in my opinion. What I would suggest, though, for stacking is try to kind of limit this kind of purchase. Um, I have different numismatics, like I've got a Proof Eagle, and I've got um, some other numismatic stuff that costs a little more than uh, what Spot did. And I bought it mainly because I just liked to look at it and kind of collect it and just put it in my like stash and maybe show it to people someday as like a special piece of mine that's not just a big stack of bullion and so I find fun in kind of chasing some of these numismatics I've been chasing this one for a while and when I say chasing what I mean is I hate paying like just um like retail prices so this from the mint is like I saved about two or three hundred bucks not buying this from the mint and instead buying it from Atmex when they had one in stock. But I like to chase collectible pieces that I really like or really enjoy and would like to one day own. And so I constantly keep it in the back of my mind that that's a piece I would like. And if I find a deal just so happen, um, I can pick it up and not have to worry about too much over spot because at the end of the day I am a stacker but I like to chase some uh, numismatic pieces you've seen in my videos in the past some of the more numismatic coins um, but as far as general stacking I would say try to keep this towards like a minimum of just like a few pieces every now and then here and there just for fun uh, for the majority of your stacking you should try to keep the cost of your stack down um, even with this included 
my total platinum stack cost is still pretty down, pretty low, um, considering. And yeah, that's just my take on collector pieces. If you're a coin collector, that's a different story. You know, you're all about chasing rare dates, rare mints, rare uh, coins, everything. And that's cool. If you're a coin collector, that's totally cool. Like, there's nothing wrong with being a coin collector. You know, I've had collecting hobbies here and there back in the day, uh, mainly just focusing on precious meadows as far as hard assets nowadays. But um, I used to collect things back when I was younger, like video games and, oh, I don't know, uh, Disney pins and all kinds of random stuff I used to collect. I mean, not anymore really, but I did used to do that at one point in my life. So if you're a coin collector and you want to collect high premium, high dollar coins just for the fun of collecting, that's totally cool because collectible items, there's always a market for collectible items. They're a little harder to sell. Finding someone just to buy your bullion is a little is pretty easy to do. You'll find someone willing to pay spot and your bullion will be gone and you'll get cash. For collector's pieces, if you want collector prices when you sell, you might have to wait a little while to find that specific buyer who's chasing your coin. So, yeah, this is my take on premium stuff. I'd say if you're a stacker, pick up a few pieces every now and then. Make it fun. Make stacking fun. Don't just make it work, 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 work. Stack as much weight as possible for as cheap as possible. I get that mindset and I understand that. But make it fun, you know? Like, there's no harm in just picking up a fancy piece every now and then um, just for the fun of it because you happen to like the design or the message that the coin has. Um, so, yeah, this is my take on platinum and, uh, and just precious metals in general. As far as paying for premium numismatic coins, I'd love to know what your idea or what your strategy is when it comes to collectible coins and uh, bullion. So if you want to leave me a comment in the comment section below, I would greatly appreciate that and I'll try to respond um, to those with my opinion or feedback or maybe I'll just say that's pretty cool. <laughs> but anyways, uh, make sure you like this video guys. Um, subscribe for more if you want to see more daily or regularly um, posted platinum videos and We'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.